James H. Meredith, backed up by the federal government's determination that the law be observed, wins his fight in Oxford, Mississippi, and becomes the first Negro known to register in the state university. But the climax leaves bitter wounds. The town becomes an armed battlefield, with federal troops moved in to stand by the U.S. Marshals against the crowds that besiege the campus. Governor Ross Barnett had asserted that he would never allow the school's 114-year tradition of segregation to be broken. But he capitulated to President Kennedy, who takes his appeal for peaceful resolution to the people. In a nationwide address, he urges the rioting students to respect laws they disagree with as well as those they agree with. Americans are free and sure to disagree with the law, but not to disobey it. For any government of laws and not of men, no man, however prominent or powerful, and no mob, however unruly or boisterous, is entitled to defy a court of law. If this country should ever reach the point where any man or group of men, by force or threat of force, could long deny the commands of our court and our Constitution, then no law would stand free from doubt. No judge would be sure of his writ, and no citizen would be safe from his neighbors. But even as he speaks, rioting is resumed. Two men are killed, score 150 are arrested after a night of terror. Among these, and he is later transferred to a federal medical center for observation, is former Army Major General Edwin Walker. Oxford remains an arena where ancient passions may smolder and flare for a long time before they cool. <laughs>